kind of takes his right arm up underneath the shoulder pads of the guy and moves him physically. Again, center and right tackle. Here we go. It's pass, pass pro set right here. Good job by 68 right off the bat and 70. Not too bad. Pass complete. Not too much more to look at here besides pretty good pass protection by both of 70 and 68 right here. Again, 68 and 70 right tackle center. Right here, you can see Fluker gets down there and immediately seals his man to the outside and then jumps to the next level. Well, tries to jump to the next level. If he would have timed his next level rise better, it would have worked out great. Like right when he put his hands on the man, 98, boom. He just needs to hit him once and then bounce off. Instead, he hits his man and bounces with him like, for like once and twice, like one, two. See right there, if he would have hit him once and then jumped off him, he would have got there in time. Again, 68, or actually 63 is the center, so Skur is not in on this play. This is just going to be Fluker. So to the right, 70. Seals his man to the inside right there. Great rep, just sticks with his man, blocking him all the way to the other side of the field. This will just be 70. Fluker pulls right here into the alley. Bam, nice block by Fluker. Boom, cleared him out. Good block. It'll just be Fluker. Skur is not in on this play. 70 right there, helps. Then look, jumps to the next level, boom. He does a good job of getting to the next level when he does get there. It's all just a timing thing, I think, for him. When he hits it crisp, it, it looks good and goes good. Here he is pulling again, 70, boom, nice block right in there. He's agile enough to pull, and he's good enough to fill in for a couple of games, maybe if um, Liam doesn't do good or gets hurt. Here we go, it's going to be 70, 63 is not Skura. Oh, look at him right there, he mans his great rep by Fluker. Takes his man and muscles him to the outside this time. So left arm under and twist his hips to the other sideline. Good job. All right, here we go. Next play, Fluker, number 70, the right tackles in. Skur not in on this play. He gets out there and does a good job of um, getting to his spot and making sure that he gets his guy blocked so Jackson or whoever was going to get the ball can come around the edge right there. You see him near his guy right there, <clears throat> get on top of the linebacker and then force him back to the inside. The guy kind of ran around him, but not bad. Okay, here we go. 70 would be the right tackle. Uh, Skur is not in on this play. It's a, another center they have. Oh, here you go. They're going to pull him back across the line to the left, right into the hole. Hate to see that coming at you full speed. Right there, he kind of reaches and doesn't get his body into position. So he only kind of reaches and gets that little left arm on him right there. But it's just enough to get um, 27 through the hole right there. Dobbins um, through the hole. Not bad at all. Okay, next play. It'll be the right tackle, 70. I think this will be a pass pro set right here. He kind of quick sets 90 real quick, gets his hands on him real fast. Leaning on him right there. He tried to spin, but Fluker held, held him long enough to get the ball off. Um, I don't think Skur is in on this play. I think, yeah, it's the 63. But Fluker does a good job of anchoring down right there. Um, Putting his head down and actually just getting busy on the play. It's a good job. Like I've said before numerous times on my channel, I'm just a novice. So what I see is kind of how I explain it, but I'm not no expert. By far. Right here, 70 tries to quick set him. Look, he lunges and he gets beat. Um, that's a problem with Fluker. Is sometimes he gets caught um, reaching in the cookie jar like right here. He lunges and just totally whiffs on the guy right here. Whiff. That's no good. 
Okay, again, 70, the 